haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so that you guys get all of my new videos when they come out. I post a new video every single week. Um, and today we're gonna be talking about our piercings that we've had and the ones we currently have. I'll talk about my least painful piercing, one that wasn't super terrible, and then my most painful. So uh, my least painful piercing that I've ever gotten um, as far as um, facial and ears um, would have to be my lip piercing. So my lip piercing was pretty easy. Um, it still hurt a little bit just because there's a lot of nerve endings in your mouth, but overall my lip piercing was definitely pretty easy to get through. You also had your lip pierced? I got my bottom lip pierced when I was 15. On the one side I had the one ring in it for a couple of years until I got spider bites, but um, yeah, it was probably the least painful piercing that I've had. I used to have quite a few, but I've gotten rid of most of them as you can see, but yeah, it's painful. A piercing that I've had that isn't too terribly bad, but was a little bad, would probably have to be my septum. Septums. Yeah, my septum piercing was, um, it was painful, but it wasn't like excruciatingly painful. Um, I think the, the worst part of my septum piercing was definitely the healing process. While my nose was healing, um, I wasn't able to like touch the tip of my nose because it hurt so bad just to even touch it a little bit for at least three months while I was healing. And I also had black eyes for a week after I got it pierced. It hurt pretty bad. But as far as getting the actual piercing done, it, it was painful, but it wasn't excruciating. I think it's one of those piercings that it's worth it. If you really, really want it, the, the pain of getting it pierced lasts like a second, and then it's over with. About to say, uh, nice, most painful piercing for me would probably be my eyebrow piercing that I got. Um, it was pretty, pretty intense getting it pierced. It was really quick, but there is quite a bit of fat and tissue here. I watered a lot, but uh, yeah. technically, you said technically a surface piercing, I think, did you say? Yeah, it's a surface piercing. I didn't keep that one for very long, especially after, like, I don't know what it is about. You take, you take something out to clean it, and then it heals up really quickly. I hate that. <laughs> what just happened? Like the toilet flushed awkwardly. The toilet flush. Our apartment's haunted. <laughs> Our apartment's haunted. Low key. Yeah. Uh, eyebrow piercing I got rid of after it started to. I guess it didn't really reject, but it definitely took a while to heal because it got caught on. I don't remember what it was. It got caught on something while it was trying to heal, and it snagged and ripped up. And I thought it ripped out the skin, but it actually didn't. It just felt like my soul left my body for a good hour and a half. I wouldn't get my eyebrow pierced. No, it was a very short face. I, I don't think I would get my eyebrow pierced just because I have really thick eyebrows and I get them waxed a lot. <laughs> I thought about getting my eyebrow pierced before. I just have never done it because I'm like worried that when I wax my eyebrows, it's just gonna wax and it's gonna rip the ring out or something. Okay, so next is um, my most painful piercing. I think the most painful piercing I've ever gotten, I'm gonna, I'm gonna list two of them. I'm gonna list two of them. My two most painful piercings, because I'm gonna limit it to two, are my industrial piercing. Getting it done hurt a lot, but the healing process hurt even more because I sleep on this side of my face and the healing process was terrible. I think most people who sleep on their side sleep on the side of their face. You got hit in, I've accidentally hit Oh my god, that times. was terrible. I felt so bad, it started to bleed. Story time, small story time. So when we went camping, I think it was my first time going camping ever. We went to Lamping, which is in Wayne National Forest, Ohio. It's a Lamping Homestead recreation area, highly recommend. We were driving down and I can't remember what we were doing, but she was trying to hand me something and smacked me right in the ear and it started bleeding like so much. And then when we finally got to where we were gonna go camping, I cleaned it with my stuff and it still just was bleeding. Yeah, it's 
pretty intense. I felt so bad. She felt so bad. I almost threw up because it hurt so bad. Now, the other most painful piercing I have ever gotten would have to be my nipples. I don't even know if I need to explain that one. A lot of women get their nipples done because it makes them a little more confident in their in their boobs. Um, that was definitely like the this. case for me. Confidence. Confidence. That was definitely the case for me. I love my boobs 10 times more than I did before just because I have nipple piercings now. I think just going through the pain for like 0.1 seconds to be 10 times more confident in my body was so worth it. Um, so if you're worried about the pain, honestly don't be. It, I was so worried that I didn't get it done for two years. I, as soon as I turned 18, I wanted to get my nipples pierced, but I just never had the confidence or, or the mind state to do it because I was always scared that it was going to hurt really bad. Honestly, you're just psyching yourself out and making, out, making it out to be worse than it actually is because she was fine. Yeah, I was fine. Like Skylar was there when I got them pierced and she didn't look at my face. I think when I was getting them done, but no. she watched me and I didn't move. I didn't like say anything. I just got it done and it was done and over with and it was super easy. It, it's like, like a champ, like the first one went through and she's like, whew, I'm gonna need a minute. But you know, she powered through it and honestly, you know, I'm glad that you love them. I do love them. So I have a lot of piercings and I think my nipples are my favorite by my far. Favorite too. So yeah, those were um, my least painful, mid painful, and most painful piercings. Piercings are kind of who I am. I think I will keep most of the ones I have now. I did retire a lip piercing um, because that one was just a lot of maintenance. It was kind of annoying at times to try to eat with it. And so that's the only piercing I've ever retired. If you enjoy body modification and you like piercings, but you're scared to get a certain piercing, just do it because it only takes a second and usually a month or two after you get it done, you're gonna love it and you're gonna wanna like change the jewelry and put a lot of cute stuff in it and I think it's worth it, 100%. Plus, if you decide that you don't want them, you can always take them out. I've taken out eight piercings that I've gotten over the years and most painful for me was my tongue, which- Really? Yeah, you can still see that. Yeah, I know. You can still see the hole, but- It's gross. Um, the tongue piercing for me was probably the most painful just because it was the most sensitive area that I've gotten and it was more, like more- It's a muscle. Yeah, it's more of a muscle and it's more pressure, more of an intense pressure and a pinch than the rest of them were. And it was a different type of pain too, especially once the swelling and the after, like the aftermath and the healing process was the by far the worst that I've ever had. I couldn't eat or talk or anything for a good two to three weeks afterwards. And even after the healing, you know, was done and I changed the bar out and it was all done and over with, you know, it was fun to play with, but at the same time, I developed kind of a little bit of a lisp just because <laughs> of it. It was so annoying. So um, one of the, I guess the, the overall point of today's video is kind of, we wanted to talk about piercings we've had, piercings that we've retired. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, something I saw on Facebook the other day. Piercing guns overall are, the vast majority of the time, are a very unhealthy way to get a piercing. The blunt trauma of the gun, the unsanitary conditions of the gun, the fact that you can't completely clean it, um, I guess, the main thing that we were getting at here was that if you do want a piercing or you want to get your lowest pierced, especially for your kids, tattoo shops are not scary. They are licensed for a reason. They're very clean environments. They are licensed. That's the big thing. The, the vast majority of the piercers that I know take it very seriously as a lifestyle choice and an art and they take personal safety and the safety of their customers and their health and very, they're very strong feeling about it. Um, and you know, you just can't get that from piercing guns. You can't properly clean piercing guns. You can't, the main thing that gets me about piercing guns is the fact that they're extremely unsterile. They use the earring that they are putting in your ear to actually cause the piercing. Like, I remember when I got mine done that the backs of the earrings had sharp pointed ends on them so that the gun would shove it through my ear. 
And for a little kid, that can be very traumatizing. Moral of the story is don't take your kid to anywhere that has a piercing gun. Like, don't get pierced by piercing guns in general because the, yeah. the claim that you can heal something like that in only a couple of weeks is extremely unrealistic, especially with how unhealthy and unsanitary those methods of piercing are. One more tip I have, um, if you're wanting to get piercings, if you're looking to get a piercing, make sure you know who your piercer is. Make sure you know that the shop is reputable because there are some shops out there that are not meant for everybody. Because if you go in and you don't know who they are and you don't know how they do their stuff, then you may not have as an enjoyable of an experience. Yeah, just do your research and make sure it's someone that, you know, knows what they're doing and definitely has clientele that can speak from experience whether or not they are, you know, whether they're good or not. Do your research. Do your research. Do your research. If you don't do your research, you may find yourself in a pickle. <laughs> a pickle. <laughs> you may find yourself in a pickle. <laughs> ah! Thanks for watching, you guys. Um. I post videos every single week, so if you're not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so that you get notified when I put new videos out. I really enjoy making videos for you guys, and I hope that you continue to watch um, as this new YouTuber is starting out. <laughs> also, make sure you check out my last video um, with the new GoPro, which I will be using again soon. Um, if you haven't seen that already, you should check it out. I will put a link to it in the description, and I will also be at the end of this video in the end titles. <laughs> so make sure you check it out because it's a really cool video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!